So I'm starting to work on the uh, cock beating here. So we have the drawer blades and the uh, piece that I cut off of the side here uh, back in the beginning. So it's uh, mat the grain matches. So when it's glued into place here, like so, it creates a eighth of an inch uh, setback there so that the uh, cock beating uh, can fit in here like so and then of course they're mitered uh, to a 45 degree so to put those miters on the inside here uh, and get that out of there so I've got a, a block here that's uh, cut to a 45 degree and I've just placed it so that it ends up flush with that edge and then uh, it's just a matter of, of paring it off so that it's 45 degrees like so so uh, it's a little more than an eighth of an inch obviously when it's at a 45 degree You want it flush with the with the block of wood. There we are. So that's how we get the 45s. And of course, I'll turn it over and do them. This one's done on both sides. This one, both sides. So I have a few more to do. Well, I've got the first two pieces of uh, cock beating on here. So the top one has uh, one miter. And then this one here has two miters. And if I can get it out, so you can see uh, the 45 there and the 45 there. And it just slips in. And then it sticks out here about an eighth of an inch, which is what it's supposed to do. And then it's flush on the inside here. And they're half inch uh, deep. So, uh, I'll show you how I made that. So I made this strip of eighth inch um, mahogany here. So it's a half inch wide and an eighth of, eighth of an inch uh, thick. And it's got a uh, eighth inch bead on the, f on the front here, which is flush with uh, both ends. So that's the cock beading. This one has already got a 45 on that side. And now we need the corresponding 45 on this side. So what I've been doing to rough it out is I'm using the same guide block that I used to uh, cut the other sides, the, the ones on the chest. And I'm just using a flush cut saw here that um, follows along the 45. I do is I cut it off a, a little bit long and then we're going to trim it with uh, what we have over here. So Doug Mulder made this for me last Christmas and uh, it's a flush trim. This is called a donkey I guess 45 degree donkey. So you can put it, if it's too long, we just put it in here and then uh, you can run it across there and slim it down a little bit at a time until it fits. Well, I've rough cut the uh, mahogany for the drawer fronts now. So that's the next step. And it's, this is 12 quarter stock and I don't need quite 12 quarter you can see there's a little excess here 
but unfortunately they don't sell it in 10 quarter so we have to start in uh, with 12 quarter but even then I, I hope you can see the black line on here I mean that's the drawer front there this is all waste here 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 it would be uh, far better to veneer the thing than it would be to cut it out of solid stock but uh, the original was made out of solid so that's what we're gonna do here well I've got a template for the curve uh, that's up there but uh, since it's sitting in there I might as well trace it along the bottom edge here to uh, confirm this is where it's going to actually sit just in case I didn't make the drawer blades perfect to the template so that's the uh, that's the curve on the bottom. I've got about a 32nd of an inch on either side. And it's flush on the top, so I don't need a little hand planing when uh, I finish cutting it out and making the drawer. Well, I made this template uh, from the uh, drawing that Doug Mulder made for me, the engineering drawing. And uh, I've got a, just a little piece of scrap pine here that I uh, uh, pasted it to and then uh, cut it out with a bandsaw and cleaned it up. So uh, since I had drawn the uh, outside uh, line directly uh, from the drawer blade uh, for this onto the bottom of this, uh, I really only need it for the back, uh, which I'll trace and then uh, cu cut it out on the bandsaw. Well, I've cut out the first drawer here and uh, because I have traced it on this bottom edge here uh, all the way across um, we've got a pretty good fit uh, even before it's been cleaned up now I, I'm off of the line about a 32nd of an inch so it has to be cleaned up but uh, down but uh, now I'm gonna clean it up I'll be using the spoke shave and uh, probably my compass plane. Well I'm cleaning up the uh, first uh, drawer front here, the front of it, and uh, I've been using my curved spoke shave here. Whoops, there's some cheddar. It's nice having the back flat at the moment. So uh, obviously you uh, plane towards the down, we're taking a little off at a time and then uh, using the square we want to make sure that it's flush or you know straight front to back all the way across the, the face of it. So then uh, I used the block plane here to go across the grain to get this flat at uh, three quarters of an inch and then I used a carving chisel then to uh, bring this in crisp to the edge and a little light sanding will get rid of that line it's uh, this is of course end grain here uh, as you come around and um, so you, you, it's a different color there because I'm cutting across the grain here but uh, once it's sanded uh, 
that'll be smooth. So I'm working on this one right over here right now. So that line represents where uh, the uh, flat part belongs. And um, once I get it lined out, and the, the line is on on here, so I know where I'm working down to. And then I could use the the plane. Once I make a shoulder, it'll go much easier. And you don't see need me to to sit there while I plane it down here. I use a um, flat spoke shave to get this area nice and flat, and again checking it with the square to make sure that it's flat front to back. So a little more cleanup, and then I try it in the opening to make sure that it's nice and even. The most important things are to keep the two edges dead even with each other and then work on the curves in between. Well I've got um, three of the drawer fronts here shaped uh, so far and as you saw I cut them out with a uh, bandsaw and then of course used a, a spoke shave and some files to uh, get them to uh, match uh, this way and uh, follow the, the template that we have. So the object of course is to make them all the same uh, because when you look at the, the front of a block front uh, all these lines need to be uh, in line with each other and your eye would catch it if it if it went in and out so that's a part of it that needs to be done. So I've got the largest one to make yet, the backs to do but uh, the backs of course aren't as important as uh, as the drawer front so we'll proceed with the fourth one. Well I'm pretty much done with the fronts so I've got all four of the drawer fronts made now so now it's time to start on the backs and uh, I had made this template uh, which I think I showed you earlier uh, from the drawing that Doug made for me and uh, so it's just a matter of uh, placing it on here and then drawing a line along the back and uh, that'll give me the the shape that we want and so then I'll bandsaw out all this material and uh, what we end up with is this so there it is uh, quite a bit lighter then when it has all that material, it's such a waste of uh, all this mahogany. I'm hanging on to it. I'll probably think of something to make out of the, the cutoffs uh, later on. But that's, uh, I haven't cleaned up the backs of it. I will clean it up a little bit. But um, the insides of drawers uh, don't particularly uh, get cleaned up real well. And uh, I did cut this off with uh, a table saw as you can see here so that I have a nice square corner uh, there because this is where I'll cut the dovetails and uh, I'm going to need to make sure that that's squared up. Well I've got uh, all four drawer fronts uh, positioned in here now and uh, they look pretty good. Uh, the last thing that I did was to uh, cut out the backs of them. Now I haven't cleaned this up yet but uh, I'll do that shortly. So I'm satisfied with where we are at the moment and uh, so the next thing to do is to mill up some uh, pine and uh, start to work on the dovetails. <laughs> 